Hi, good morning Jeremy. My name is Berlin Cole. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 22nd of February 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Jeremy Vince. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 2408200007. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. Would you be known as a nurse? I would like to be respected as a nurse. I possess the dignity of being a nurse. I would like to be known for my competence and productivity. I would like to be considered for the extremely professional nature of my relationship with my colleagues and the ethics I show towards my profession. I am proud to be a nurse. What strategies would you employ? to effectively motivate your team? My interpersonal style is to motivate others, especially when I was the supervising staff. My strategy of managing projects or leading teams of co-workers is to constantly encourage everyone to give their best. I praise those who do well and teach those who are new to the job. I use every opportunity I get to educate my team and colleagues. Constant learning helps me to evolve such a character in me. What are the situations? that make you angry in nursing? Situations involving the patient's relatives, who become agitated even after the hospital staff give their best to treat them using the available resources, make me angry as a nurse. Also, we dedicate ourselves to care for patients. There are instances where we get questioned by the patient or their dear ones and treat us badly. We are working for their health and betterment. Our hard work has not been seen by them. These situations will make me angry and feel disappointed. But, nothing will stop me from my duties, and I continue to care each patient to the best as I could. What are the qualities that people most often criticize about you as a nurse? There are no ongoing definite aspects of criticism that I face. I am always willing to improve my personal and professional growth. One of the qualities for which I am sometimes criticized as being too much of a perfectionist I tend to expect very high standards of work from myself and get stressed out in the process. What are some of the most difficult decisions you have made in nursing? I think one of the most difficult decisions that I had to make was when my supervisor in the previous hospital quit without prior notice. When the management told me to take over the position, I did without any double thought. Even though it was difficult to manage both the clinical and the administrative work, I was able to rearrange the department workload to cover the position until a replacement was hired. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Thank you, Berlin, for allowing me to assess your husband, Henry. If you don't mind, shall I ask you a few questions regarding your husband's care? Sure. You may proceed. Great. Could you please tell me how he has been managed since my last visit? Yes, of course. As you know, my husband has been suffering from this condition for the past two years, and since then, I was on leave from work, and I managed so far with the financial commitments very well. But it is not possible anymore. So recently, I joined back to my work. I really understand your situation, and I appreciate your decision as well. By the way, I would like to know how Henry is coping up with the change, nurse. Thereafter, I have been trying to give the best possible care for my husband, even in my absence. I have put a fridge and microwave in his bedroom and keep meals out every day, so that he can eat when he feels hungry. But I am worried that it is not enough. Henry needs more care and attention. I understand your concern, Berlin. Being a wife and a breadwinner who works full time is quite responsible. However. I am sorry to say that, from my assessment, what I have to inform you is that your husband is in a stage where he needs continuous monitoring and round-the-clock assistance as well as care. I was expecting this, nurse. I knew that eventually my spouse would need round-the-clock support, but I hoped it wouldn't be so soon. Now I am confused. I have no idea what to do. Your state of being confused is sensible. Though it's time to act on his needs rather than feeling helplessness, Berlin, I will put forward a few suggestions and see which will be best suitable for you. Okay, nurse. I know that what I am saying is not really acceptable. Nevertheless, I would suggest you quit your job once again, or else I recommend you to appoint a full-time carer at your home to take care of your husband. Another option is to shift him to a nursing home. What do you think is the best possible way? Oh no, I won't give up my job if I quit. We don't have any options to live. I understand your situation. Then it is better to go with a full-time care, isn't it? Yes, what you are opting is a good suggestion. But I cannot afford a full-time care at the moment. Then the best possible solution is a nursing home. Where your husband can get 24/7 services with a nominal service charge. Yes, a nursing home could be a great option, but I wonder if my husband agrees or not. He hasn't stayed anywhere out of the home. I acknowledge your point. I think you can manage it. However, choosing a nursing home won't be a wrong decision. All the nursing homes consist of experienced staff and high-quality services. Most nursing homes have specialized doctors to deal with emergencies as well. I truly admire your words, but could you please tell me how to choose the best nursing home? Of course. I am glad to explain it to you. Yes, please. First of all, you should prepare your list of requirements, such as oxygen support, food, private room required of not, and so on. Is that clear for you? Yes, I am. Then you should either visit some of the nursing homes or make a call to them, and have a talk with the staff over there. Okay. So that you can get a detailed picture of the nursing homes. I hope you can do it without much hassle. Yes. Definitely, I can. Great. And finally, I would recommend you to find a nursing home in your locality, so that you can visit your husband whenever it is possible. That is a good idea. Also, there are nursing homes without time limitation to the visitors. Oh, really? Yes. So, keep all these points in mind and find a nursing home that is most suitable and friendly, alongside the care and facilities they provide. All right. I will do the scrutiny as you said. That's perfect. Anyways, before proceeding further, it's important to get permission from my husband. Yes, that is the most integral part. Without his will, we cannot take him to a nursing home, which is considered against the nursing home policy. Okay, I got it. 
After discussion with my spouse, I will let you know about his opinion. Sure, take your time Berlin. But not so long. All right. Thank you nurse. You are very welcome. That is the end of your OIT speaking role play. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.